And it got to about September, and I got a phone call one day from my best friend. He just said that his dad had passed away in his sleep. And I remember feeling instant grief. I just burst into tears straight away. I was like, oh my God, this is horrendous. He's 51, 52 year old, really fit and healthy. I went to the wake and I just felt horrendous. And I felt so bad that I thought people were looking at me. That's how like, you know, poor my mental health was. And I felt like really self-conscious, like really anxious, almost again, panicking went to the wake and drank about 10 pints. But because I was drinking so much, nobody had any idea that it was even touching the sides. And I thought, this is it, I'm just gonna do it. I've, I've lost too many people this year. Um, my life's a mess, I'm not deserving. You know, no one wants to be with me. So I thought, I'm just gonna end my life. Uh, how do I do that? And I've, I've already Googled this a few weeks previous to have had these thoughts before. And then now it's just compounded. I'm intoxicated, but not you know, out of control. And I went down to see my dad because they lived five minutes away from the wake and that's when my car was parked. And um, told them I loved them, they had no idea. Said, oh, I'll see you in a couple of days. And that was it, I didn't want to hurt anybody else so I drove on some quieter roads and then put up the speed, picked the bridge or the post or the anything, the barricade that I could hit at high speed. And um, got up to 100 miles an hour. And then my phone started ringing and it came up on the dashboard, I just said mum. And straight away it was like, <gasps> like this almost like overwhelming feeling like, oh my God, what am I doing? And then as soon as I heard a voice, it's like, oh, Adam, you all right? I was like, yeah, yeah. She's like, what are you doing? I was like, uh, she's like, you've left your wallet at home. Do you want me to drop it off for you? Or... And as soon as she said that, it was just like this bang, this moment where I was like, holy shit, what am I doing? what am I doing? Like the car was just going crazy, obviously. And you know, no one was hurt, nothing was damaged and pulled over into a lay by and just sobbed. I don't know how long for, it felt like hours. My shirt was just drenched. And I knew at that moment that I had to change. Something drastically had to change. 